last time on High Tide. That's why we're going to Central America. Ron, do you even know what the cargo is? I never ask any questions. You know our slogan. We fly anything, anytime, anywhere. So what are you going to do all day while we're surfing? Hunt for treasure. Mayan gold. I'm Ramon Chavez. Hello, Maria. I'm Joey Barrett. I just thought you'd like to know we're being hijacked. Hey, where are you taking my brother? As soon as your friends return, we'll let you go. You really expect me to believe that? Mick, listen to me. If we don't deliver these weapons to General Perez, we're all dead. If we don't deliver these weapons to the rebels, my brother is dead. My enemies would love to get their hands on that cargo. Hey, I wouldn't know anything about that, General. I, I just deliver the goods. What? Now, now just relax, OK? If this has anything to do with your stupid treasure hunt, forget it. It's not. It's got to do with the uh, CIA. I remember when you said you didn't care about this revolution. That's before I cared about you. Execute them! What? Fire squad, ready! I'm really sorry about this, guys. Is going on? We're about to execute these traitors. Why are you calling them traitors? They're smuggling drugs from Venice. You can prove this? We didn't know anything about the drugs. Yeah! Ramon, please let them explain their side. Bring them to my tent. Now that I have embarrassed my first officer in front of his men, I would appreciate a little honesty from you. That may be kind of difficult for Ron. It's against his nature. Hey, look, I can be just as honest as the next guy. Look, I swear, I did not know there were drugs in those crates. You really thought there were rifles in there? Yeah, I didn't give a damn what was in them. I just making a delivery to Brownsville, that's all. Do you work for General Pettis? <sighs> I was contracted to do a job. That's it. Gentlemen, I have to know where your allegiance lies. Do you sympathize with General Pettis? or with the rebels. Hey, sorry, man. I have no allegiance to anybody or anything but myself. I'm with you guys. You seem so certain. Yeah, well, Maria and I had a chance to talk, and it sounds like this Perez dude needs to be stopped. And what about you? Oh, I don't know, man. It's, you know, it's not my fight. I never meant to get involved. None of us did. 
you were just going surfing. Yeah. I mean, I know that sounds unimportant and trivial compared to your struggle, but you can't expect us to take sides. We don't even know what's going on. There's no reason you should. You know, excuse me, since we're being all blunt and honest here, I'd just like to point out a few things that we've been skyjacked, held hostage, accused of being spies, and almost executed, so why don't you cut us a little bit of slack? Of course, I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, you know, <laughs> you're the man. <laughs> you're in charge, Ramon. Cut you a little slack. Hey, forget I said that. If by that you mean that I should let you go, then I agree. What do you mean? Your innocence. Too many people like you have already been killed in this war. You're free to go. We can go. Go. Hey, Maria, we're looking all over for you. Guess you heard the good news, huh? You're leaving. Yeah, thanks to you. Your brother's a great guy. Yeah, he is. I just worry about him. I wish he would just walk away and let somebody else take over. But I know he can't. What about you? Could you walk away? My brother needs me. I understand. I really wish things were different, Joe. Look in time, there will be. back for you. You know what? Let's not make any promises we can. Fair enough. My Maria. You mean to tell me you guys have never heard of the lost Mayan treasure? It's hidden somewhere out here in the jungle. Look, you guys have been hanging out here a long time, right? I mean, you must have come across some, some Mayan ruins or, or old stuff like that, right? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Not the damn shame, because we're talking millions of dollars in Mayan gold here, just waiting for someone to find it. Hey, Ron. What? Let's get a move on, okay? Go right up, Joey. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh... Ramon, I want to say goodbye. Wish you luck. Thank you. I hope you have good ways. Oh, don't worry. These are not the crates from your plane. We have no use for drugs. No, neither do I. These uh, contain parts of the weapons that you already delivered to General Perez. Just parts? Yes, unfortunately. They're incomplete, useless. But I take some consolation in knowing that they are also useless to Perez. That's why you wanted the shipment so badly. With these weapons, I think we could have held our own against the government troops. Maybe even overthrown Pettis. I hope you find a way. I hope so, too.
way you look at it, drugs are drugs. You died and made you die, huh? Just because you say it's wrong, Bear, does that make it wrong? What do you take when you got a cold, huh? So it really doesn't bother you. Don't be silly. Hey, hold up. What's the problem now? Ron wants to go back to Brownsville to fulfill his contract. We should just take all the drugs and dump them out of the plane. <laughs> That'd make my clients real happy. Trust me, guys, these are not the kind of people you want to have mad at you. Why don't you just ask Joy? What do you think? What, is this a boat? I think the Rebels need our help. I think we should go back there. Oh, not an option. Huh. Well, it's better than either one of your ideas. Yeah, possibly. But we got people waiting in Cancun. Man, we've been through hell and almost killed. Who cares about those people? We've got an obligation. Hang on, guys. We're not even going to go to Cancun or Brownsville. Why not? Because we're running out of fuel. we got to head back to the Sable. About 20 minutes to Cancun. All right, I'll drop you guys off and make a quick jog to Brownsville. What? No, oh, we'll be back before you even miss me. You're a strange guy, Ron. Thanks very much. Man. Something wrong, General? You are under arrest for smuggling drugs. Come on, General. You and I both know those drugs belong to you. <laughs> You're in no position to make accusations. I stand corrected. Those weapons you delivered, there were parts missing. They don't work. Well, I'm really sorry about that. Where are those parts? General, look, I'm just a delivery boy. I swear, I don't know anything. Don't lie to me! I suggest you help your friend to refresh his memory. Arrest these spies! How you feel? Like someone kicked the shag out of me. Pretty close. Don't tell me. Prison cell, right? We've been accused of spying. Well, according to the San Marcos justice system, that means we are spies. This is getting pretty serious. It's time to come clean, Ron. Don't kick me! Honestly, you guys, I don't know what's going on. Let's start with your contact in Brownsville. Is he really CIA? You never really know for sure. But I think so, yeah. Why would the CIA want to make deals with Perez? Well, they're kind of setting him up for drug trafficking, like, like Noriega in Panama. I thought the U.S. government supported Perez. Well, they did, but then he became sort of an embarrassment. Perez. It's much more than that. He's a mass murderer. The U.S. government knows all about the atrocities he's perpetrated on the people of St. Marcos. They realize that many more people will die unless he's deposed. I take it you've tried to stop him? That's why I'm here, for speaking out, telling the truth. What's going to happen to us? There's no way of knowing. Maybe he'll just let us go. <laughs> yeah, right. Or he could just leave us in here to rot. Probably not. Being Americans, you don't make for very good political prisoners. At least only one other alternative. He's gonna kill us. Do we have any other options? It's very simple, gentlemen. Either you cooperate, or you will be tortured. Well, you wanted another option. So, General, tell me exactly what kind of torture we're talking here. I am beginning to lose patience with you. <coughs> Sorry, I withdraw the question. 
You know, they say that being burned is the most excruciating pain one can endure. I believe it is because fire destroys every last little nerve ending in the skin. Imagine thousands of nerves, hot and throbbing. The pain must be excruciating. Okay, okay, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Hey, General, look, I said I'd cooperate, all right? Now just, just get the damn thing away from me. Taking a little torture, wouldn't you? I hadn't really made up my mind. Where's your friend? They're questioning him. Did they torture him? He didn't give him a chance. Nothing can be gained by cooperating with Perez. Rise and shine, gentlemen. Care for a cigar? Compliments of Hannerel Perez. <laughs> You've been gone for hours. What happened? Been negotiating a deal to get us out of this hole. Weren't you the guy that told me not to make deals with Perez? One and the same, Nick, but circumstances have changed, so I like to keep an open mind. <laughs> what kind of deal did you make? In exchange for our freedom, I'm going to lead the bad guys to the rebel camp so they can get the rest of the weapon parts. I don't understand you, man. I mean, Perez is not going to let us leave anyway. Of course not. He's going to kill us just as soon as he gets his hands on those weapons. Oh, heck of a deal, Ron. Betray the rebels, derail the revolution, and get us killed all in one day. Not bad. I'm taking one step at a time. I figure our first priority is to avoid torture and get out of this prison. What's the next step? I'm working on it. You're a damn fool. Making deals with the devil. Hey, look, I didn't have much of a choice. Either I get my skin fried, or I talk to the guy. And don't tell me you'd go for the burns of it. I already made that choice. Pardon me for not being stupid. How could you help that bastard? Don't you realize people will die? Hey, look. Butt out of my life, old man. I don't owe you or your lousy country a damn thing. for my uh, friend. It's, you know, it's just that we don't belong here. None of us do. What I mean is, so uh, we're Americans. We don't expect you to come to the States and fight our battles, you know? Depends on the battle. When there is true evil, Good men have to ignore geographical borders. They have to come together and fight. To the death, if necessary. I'm Joey Barrett. It's my brother, Mick. Don Alegio. I'm a professor of history at the university. Is your specialty Mayan culture? Yes. Are you familiar with my work? Well, no, but... Uh... I have a friend who uh, is a very big fan. <sighs> nice work, hot shot. You just insulted the hell out of your treasure contact.
Don Elegio. Don Elegio. Now that you've awakened me, what is it? I just wanted to tell you that I'm... I'm sorry about what I said a while back. I was out of line. Perez is scum, and I will do everything I can to screw him up. It's all right, Mr. Gregory. I'll talk to you about the lost treasure. You know who I am? Yes. Your friends told me. Huh? Right. Uh, Don, I... Um, it's okay if I call you Don, right? I don't care. Fine. Don. Uh... I just want you to know that if I do find this treasure, I'm going to give you a cut. That's very generous. Now, about the gold. The treasure you are looking for is hidden in the innermost chambers of the temple of the rain god of Chuck. Somewhere in the jungle, right? The location of the temple. It is impossible to pinpoint because the celestial alignment has obviously changed in the last 3,000 years. Obviously. But I have been able to make some estimations, narrowing it down to three areas in the St. Marcos rainforest. Can, can you show me these places on a map? Yes, but it really won't do you any good. Each area is over 400 square miles. You call that narrowing it down? That's the best I can do. But you face another problem. The temple has been devoured by jungle. It is completely overgrown with plants. So, uh, basically, what you're telling me is that it's impossible. I'm never going to find this treasure. I would never say never. There were markers around the perimeter of the temple. Some of these still might be visible. What kind of markers? Large stone circles, carvings of a shark's guardians, fierce-looking creatures that were meant to scare away intruders. So, if... if, if, if... If I find these markers, will they take me to the temple? You would be within a couple of hundred meters. You know where I can uh, start looking? Hey! Don! Don! Hey! Don! Hey! Gentlemen! Hey, General, are you going to fly along with us here? No, I'm going to stay right here. You're going to be followed by two troop carriers. Once you've led them to the rebel airstrip and the weapons have been secured, you will be free to continue on to Cancun. And you'll be free to kick the crap out of those rebels, huh? <laughs> you find all this amusing, huh? Hell, General, if you can't laugh at war, what's the point in fighting, you know? It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Have a safe flight. Did you count on having all this company, Ron? Nope. How about the troop carriers? Uh, that was another pleasant surprise. Okay, so what's the plan? Hell, yeah, I don't know. What do you mean? Last night you said you were working on a plan. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. You did. I did not. You did. I did, I did, I did not. not. Please. Well, plan or no plan, we're dead. <laughs> Is still with us? Yeah. Yeah, they're about 10 miles back. What's that? Uh, the ashes of my big toe. That's gross. Yeah. yeah it got shot off in the Middle East. And the doctors tried to reattach it, but it wouldn't take. So they cremated a little bugger, and now I wear it for luck. Obviously, it doesn't work. About it. I think I'm pretty lucky. Hey, ugly! God, you are ugly. <laughs> Almost as ugly as your idiot pals back there. What do you think? They speak English? I'd say no. You're right, he is pretty ugly. So, uh, now it's safe to talk. Is there something in particular you wanted to say, like, you have a plan? Nick, I always had one in my mind. It just 
wasn't fully formed yet. Your mind or the plan? Hey, ugly, you having fun yet? Hey, I just remembered. I got some yada yadas in the back. Oh, you know, yada, the yada, 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 yada. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen, you yeah. want to see some uh, yada yadas in the oh, 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 back? Oh, oh, oh. You got to see it. Come, come, I'll show you. You got to check it out for a second. Come here, I'll get some yeah. for you. Come, come, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. I kind of got my hands full here. Hey, please, the door. Someone is at the door. Oh. You guys have done this before, huh? Yeah, what's your title? What's your time up, Joey? <laughs> tell for sure, but I'd say we're pretty close to rebel camp. What about the troop carriers? You know, I'd say it's time we lose those pinheads. But you buckle up, gentlemen. I don't like the sound of this. What are you going to do? We're going to drop to about 200 feet, avoid their radar, and eh, maybe a little lower. <laughs> 200 feet? Yeah, don't worry about it. Just as long as they don't hit any big trees, they'll be all right. Mm. Low, but this is really low. Hey, uh, aren't we kind of low? That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's get a little lower. What? Oh, hey, look, there's a rebel camp. You think we lost the troop carriers? And long gone. Came back. Hey, I told you I would. <laughs> Is that why you came back? So you could see Maria? No. No. We brought you a little present from General Perez. We brought you the rest of the weapons. Yeah. Thank you very much. But there's only one problem. I had my men take the rest of the parts to our camp in the north. I don't this. Well, that's okay. We can fly you there. Hold, hold it, Mr. Squeaky Toy. Who's gonna fly him there? Technically, you are. Technically, I'm not. Technically, I think I've done enough. I just want to get my butt out of San Marcos. That's all. He's right. 
It is our struggle, not his. That's all I need to hear. Thank you, Ramon, very much. Muchas gracias. Adios. Sit all ahead. Ron, look, what? these weapons are no good without the parts. We can't cut out on them now. But why not? Because it's wrong! Oh, there you go again. It's not wrong. See, acting like God again. It is not wrong. Plus, Ramon said I could leave, right? Bye. We're gonna finish this. Oh. Okay, but then we get the hell out of San Marcos, right? This is really starting to piss me off. Come on, Lou! Away from the guys with the guns. Wait a minute, what are we thinking here? No, you wouldn't like my guts. Why don't we circle back to the plane? Maybe they haven't found it yet. Let's go. Can we talk about this? A little help here, a little. Wait up, wait up. I got a rest. Hey, listen, uh, Ron, I've been thinking. What's gonna happen with us and the CIA? Probably nothing. See, that's the nice thing about covert operations is when they get all screwed up, everybody denies all knowledge. So basically, we never existed. Oh, well, that's comforting. Where the hell are we? In the jungle. Thanks for that. That's really helpful. Yeah, I got another news flash for you, too. Not only are we in the jungle, but we are lost in the jungle. Oh, it's easy. We'll just head east, and eventually we'll hit the coast. That's what Maria and I did. East? Well, I don't know which way it is. Oh. Just look at the sun. We're in big trouble. At least we're not dead. Yet. Go on. Ow! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Hey, guys. Oh, it's Paco. We should leave. Maybe we ought to bury him. We can't, Joey. Come on, we gotta go. I thought there wasn't anything that I could hate more than the jungle during the day. But there is a jungle at night. Will you stop complaining? Hey, I've got every reason to complain. We all do. I'm just sick of hearing it. Oh, oh, so it's okay when you do it, huh? Do what? Complain. I don't complain. I haven't complained once. There, you were just complaining about my complaining. Excuse me, gentlemen. But could you please shut up? Go to sleep. <sighs> Could this ground be any harder? It feels like concrete. Yeah. Hard as a rock. Oh, circle. It's a worker. It's a worker. Oh, I mean, you gotta be around here somewhere. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think he's finally lost. Don't get too close. <laughs> hey, but don't worry. I'm going to give you guys a cut. You know, because you were here when I found it, all right? Yeah. Uh, oh. Thanks, Ron. Thank you. Oh, it's getting really close. Come on, we're out of no, here. No, 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 no. No, no, I can't leave my treasure. Ron, you're going to get us killed. Let's go. No, leave me alone. All right, that's it, man. I'm out of here. Ron, we're going. I'm sorry. For what? Oh, oh. That. Joey, wait, wait. I gotta rest my back. Oh, God. Oh, man, you look heavy. Oh. Maria! <laughs> Is he dead? Are you sure you guys haven't see, seen my mind go to treasure? No, he's just crazy. We've been looking for you all night. We recaptured the plane, but we had no one to fly it. Are you sure you haven't seen my gold? He's fine, he's fine. Hey, mind. come on, run. Ow. 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 Oh, what hit me? Falling branch. Actually, I did. Why? Because I was going to. They're closing in. We gotta get down. You walk? Well, I got okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, we go! Ah! Wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what are we doing back here? We, we gotta go back to my treasure. Let's hurry. We've lost the cover of darkness, and the government soldiers are on our trail. Get on the plane. Come on, we gotta get out of no, here. No, no. We're not going anywhere, not until we get back to my treasure. There is no treasure. No, there is. There is. I found this, this big statue guy. Yeah, you did. So what? That's the marker for the temple of the rain god. Yeah. That's where the gold is buried. Oh, my God, you found it? I found it. I really found it. That's why you gotta take me back now. I've no idea where it is. What do you mean you don't know where it is? You gotta know. Ron, it, it was the nighttime. It was the middle of the jungle. The middle of the jungle? This whole country's covered in jungle. Damn it, it was right in front of my hands, and now I lost it. Look, we're gonna lose a whole lot more if you don't hurry up. Come on. Okay, I'll be, I'll be right with you. I will. I will. <laughs> Mother up in the air. Those surfers were still waiting for us in Cancun, and despite all the delays, the tour was a big success. Just before we took off for home, Maria called and gave us the good news about the revolution. The rebels were beginning to turn the tide against Perez. There was new hope the people of San Marcos would finally be free. 
And after he dropped us off in San Diego, crazy Ron Gregory immediately headed back to the jungle to do a little more treasure hunting. Ow! Oh, I'm at last! Hey, guys, welcome back. Hey, Rachel. Everything go OK? No problem. How was your trip? Oh, it was uh, interesting. Well, you didn't miss anything here. The weather's still lousy. So is the surfing. So is business. Oh, goody. Hey, with all its fault, it's still good to be home, right? I couldn't agree with you more, bro. So, you do anything besides surf? Yeah, we got involved in a revolution. Oh, yeah. And I got held hostage by these rebels. And don't forget about the uh, Mayan treasure. Oh, yeah, we, we found it, but then we lost it again. And the firing squad. Oh, who could forget that? Yeah, right. And while you were away, the CIA called, and they wanted to know if you guys were spies. The CIA called? They called here? For us? It's Ron, man, I'm telling you. They want to know about the missing drugs, right? Missing drugs? Oh! <laughs> you joke. That's very funny. Very good. That's very good. good. Yeah. What really yeah. happened on your trip? It's pretty boring. Well, yeah, it's actually a relatively boring trip. Boring, boring, boring. boring. <laughs> Next on High Tide. This kid's got my wallet. This little punk here. Excuse me, his name is Tommy and he's my son. Oh. Ron Simmons. <laughs> Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to be a big brother. What kind of trouble are you in, Molly? No, that's impossible! You've got to give me more time! He's a kid. He's crying out for help, and you're too caught up in what you want to even hear it. Mm -hmm.